And Jason, when a severe weather warning is issued, every second counts. And this morning, the National Weather Service is responding to concerns about a delay in the time the public received critical warning statements during this weekend's deadly tornado in Iowa. Fox Weather's Will Nunley joins us now to explain what officials believe happened and what is being done to solve the problem for future storms. Will, thank you for joining us this morning. What do you have? Yeah, Brita, good morning. You often hear us say have multiple ways to receive weather warnings via your phone, TV, weather radio, and most of those methods rely on instant data directly from the National Weather Service. But a reported delay in some of those warnings during this weekend's tornado outbreak in Iowa is raising new concerns. This morning, the National Weather Service in a statement to Fox Weather is acknowledging a technical failure that led to a delay in some of the tornado warnings reaching the public in a timely manner. The issue stemmed, they say, from a communications backlog with a data line in Texas. And here's how it breaks down. The National Weather Service in Des Moines says they issued warnings with an average lead time of about 20 minutes, including the tornado that turned deadly. That lead time, they say, is well above the national average. NOAA weather radio and emergency alert systems were activated immediately with no delay, they say. An agency spokesperson says the breakdown happened due to a damaged fiber optic cable at a hub in Dallas, and that slowed the flow of information to other outlets such as weather.gov and the wireless alerts that you receive via your phone. A delay of two to seven minutes, in fact, was reported. The National Weather Service says they are studying this issue and making changes immediately to avoid a repeat, including the use of certain types of equipment and procedures when warnings are issued. And Britta, they would say that this is probably a rare case, but certainly these minutes matter in these severe storms. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.